YouTube channel today. And we praise God for that because we're growing over there and we've been growing for five years on the Facebook site. And then we are really launching out on LinkedIn, which is a business page, but it also has a little bit of everybody up there. And we're really being blessed there. And don't forget to pray every Monday and third, Monday and Friday. Every Monday and Friday at 2.30 p.m., we're on Kingdom Purpose Television. Kingdom Purpose Television out of uh, Chesterfield County, Virginia, up in the Richmond area. And there are a worldwide television network, and we just thank God that they give us the opportunity to speak. Let's turn to Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Thank God, I think on um, Sunday night, over 2,400 people clicked and viewed the broadcast. Amen. Thank God for that. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that continues to grow at this very hour. Hebrews chapter 12, and those here in the tabernacle already have the notes tonight, the scriptures. All you have will be shaken. All I have will be shaken. That's what we want to speak to you on tonight. Let's talk to the Father. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for this opportunity to reach Pakistan, to reach India, to reach all over Africa, all over Jamaica, here in northeastern North Carolina and around the world. We thank you for our dedicated follow followers, Father, in Williamston, North Carolina, that are watching live now. We thank you, Father, for Martin County and Burke T. County and Hertford County and Gates County and Pitt County and all the surrounding counties that we have followers and people that are a part of this ministry that attend here. We just praise your holy name tonight. Give me the words to preach and speak tonight that would bring an uplifting to your people. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 26 and 27. Whose voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised, saying, Yet once more, I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 26. Verse 27, and this word, yet once more, signifies the removing of those things things that are shaken as of the things that are made that those things which cannot be shaken may remain those things which cannot be shaken may remain this refers to all that Jesus paid for at the cross only faith in Christ and the cross cannot be shaken. It will remain the cross of Calvary. All you have will be shaken. We have seen in the last seven days in lives of people that many people trusted in, their lives have been shaken. When you're approached with a situation that is not positive, God starts to shake your roots. God starts to shake your surrounding. And it will show where you are 
in your relationship with God. There is a tremendous shaking going on in individuals' lives right now. And some people are being shook to the place where they have backslid from the cross of Calvary. Some people have been shaken so bad that they, they no longer in church anymore. But there must be a shaking going on in our lives after we have accepted Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior. There must be a shaking because, it, because we're not perfect people. And the Father must shake off those things which are bad. The Father must remove, but in the shaking process, do we stay in contact and stay in with God or resort to talking to people? I find in my life, and, it, and, and as I was praying today, I was on a certain need in my life, or excuse me, a want in my life. I was praying about, Lord, why hasn't it happened yet? I have been out this amount of time. This has happened. Why hasn't it happened? And the Lord says, I have protected you. Don't look as if I'm not doing something for you just because it's not happening right now. I have protected you from going down a road that might not have been as rosy as you thought it was going to be. So many times in our experience in this shaking and causing God to draw us closer to the cross, he shakes us and we don't get the reply and the immediate answer from heaven like we want to receive because we want everything spontaneous. We want everything like a microwave. Come on, somebody. We want everything to be solved. If we've got a cold, we want the cold over in five minutes. If we're sick of anything, if we've got a temperature, we want the temperature over in one day or we're blaming God. But through all these processing, God is shaking us. Let's look at Luke chapter 22. Peter was shaken by Jesus Christ. And this is, a, is where Jesus could be offended and he was not offended. Luke chapter 22. Let's look at verse 21. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. Chapter 22. But behold, the hand of him who betrays me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goes as it was determined. But woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. Verse 23 of Luke chapter 22. And they begin to inquire among themselves. Now see, these are the disciples of Jesus Christ. He gives them what is about to take place in verse 21 and 22. 